Uh, so against all odds, I'm going to stream tonight. <laughs> Even though it's kind of late. For some reason, I just didn't feel right in not streaming. So we're just going to do it. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up repeating a lot of the stuff that I say, but uh, I'll probably, I think I'm going to maybe start using Twitter if I'm not going to stream on a certain night. I feel like that way I would at least feel a little bit better about not streaming. Anyways, uh, that's the queue out of the way. So we're just going to do a few of the new... There's a few new quests uh, that popped, I think. Let me do... Uh, let's go to Sylph first, I guess. I, uh, I still don't know if I'm fully... Oh, well, what the heck? There's a lot of people there. I still don't know if I'm, like, fully into... Or, like, fully re-enthused... With the game, but... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Actually, I, like, if I feel tired too, I might just call it early, I'm not sure. Uh, the new one is Imperial Intruders here. Uh, unwelcome visitors to the forest have Tanaxia ill at ease. Scary steel ones come to the forest, stomping flowers and snapping trees. The forest is no place for steel ones, but these ones have not the strength to face strong, scary steel ones. The lucky ones face off steel ones. This one can help. This one it made stink bombs. Uh, from it. Big Mouth One's Stink Juice. <laughs> Any nose having one it will run away from the stink, this one is certain. Walking One must throw a stink bomb at any steel one Walking One sees, but be careful, the strong steel ones may fight back. Walking One must find steel ones, then use Stinky Juice Stink Bomb to drive them from these ones home. Alright. Uh, let's look. Uh, okay. Where is this up here, huh? Use mortal bile bombs on the Imperial soldiers and defeat any reinforcements. Mortal bile bomb. A projectile weapon fashioned by the silver from mortal bile mystically molded into a cylindrical shape. Huh, okay. So we were basically just throwing stink, stink bombs at them. Wait, we can talk to them? Why? Wait, what? Can we... Oh. Why can you... When you talk to them, it just opens your inventory. That's so weird. <laughs> They're just kind of like standing there otherwise. Seven Hills, what is this stench? <laughs> oh, okay. He also just says, what is the stench? There's no reinforcements yet, though. I wonder if they'll just come on the last one. Maybe that's what happens. Did a marble just empty its innards? I feel ill. OK. 
Okay, he also just comments on the sensuate. Huh, I drank a swill worse than this last night. You'll not escape alive. <laughs> okay. The Imperial Soldier has summoned a Magitek Vanguard. Okay. That must be some pretty bad swill, I guess. If it smelled that bad. But yeah, so just the one quest. That I, I was reading the wiki too, and I'm pretty sure the quests are. Uh, was like Chthonic said yesterday. They're uh, like they just add new. They add new quests when you go up a reputation tier. So. I think the method I've been using here is kind of not that necessary, but I'll probably just stick with it anyways, at least until we're done the initial quests. I think there's a set of 10 for each, well, for the initial reputation tier, I think there's 10. It might be 10 per, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just do it this way until we see the first 10. And then I might start doing like repeat quests like off stream or something just to save time. Cause I basically just want to see see each other quest at least one time. Uh seal ones are gone from forest. This one is beside oneself in gratitude. Seal one brought giant spiky one. This one has lost many friends to those ones. This one is frightened. This one is fortunate to have strong friend like walking one. I promise this one that strong will stay uh, and keep these ones safe. All right. Uh, I guess next we could do. Let's do Sahagan next. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still not like feeling a hundred percent. Still not sure what it is. I feel like a little bit better than I did yesterday. <clears throat> Again, it's like I don't, it's not like a cold or anything. You, like usually you'd say like I'm not feeling 100% like if you were like feeling sick or something. But it's this like I don't know. My motivation, I guess, is this was low. I took care of some like pretty stressful stuff at work today though, so that feels good. I guess maybe that's helping a little bit. But somehow I still don't feel 100%. Something weird happened yesterday morning. Or like overnight or something while I was sleeping. I can't quite pinpoint it. Uh, let's see. So we want to do a grateful response. A few wishes you to raid the raiders. Fish. The piracy of the coral tridents continues unabated. That They have struck another trading vessel. The merchantmen's captain and crew were able to escape in a landing skiff, but they were forced to abandon their ship and its cargo to their attackers. I am of mind to see this cargo return to the shore walkers. Fish, perhaps it is time you practice a little piracy of your own. Speak with a pawn and borrow an elpst. His sea beast will soon catch up to your burdened target. Take an elpst to make your way to the trident infested merchantmen. Let us see what cargo you can retrieve for the shore walkers. Now we have to ride this guy again. Fish, the captured merchantman, my elves will have you snapping at its rudder before you uh, settle in the saddle. <laughs> oh, really? Alright. Oh, are you just like. It's like a dungeon, like a mini dungeon, I guess. That's kind of cool. Reclaim cargo crates from the deck of the merchantman. Fish, you will not have our spoils. I guess if you're careful here, you can actually like avoid <laughs> avoid encountering any of them, except for the ones in the purple spot. There's a patrol there. I don't know if it's gonna move. This guy's not really doing a lot of damage anyways, I can probably just ignore him. 
He might interrupt me though. No, what a nuisance. I'm just trying to be lazy. Oh, there, we can just go smack him in the face. <laughs> I'll take your thieving hands. Drowned Demolisher. Oh, that's right, they're, um... Oh man, this guy aggroed Elsa. I forgot that they have some that are like... I guess they're like... Um, they're tempered, so... Yeah, that's why there's humans here, I guess. Tempered by Leviathan, who we haven't seen yet. Don't know if we will see Leviathan. Okay, that's cool. There's another ship over there. Can you... I guess they're just for decoration. You can't actually, like, attack them or anything. It's kind of neat that you get to see their, uh... You get to see their fleet, though. That's kind of neat. Wait, the enemy is still about? What does that mean? Well, anyways, we got what we needed. Let's go. We'll just walk out this door. I guess the Alps was waiting for us outside or something. Sure, Walker, were you able to steal back the cargo? Cargo crate, a conch wooden box filled with exotic spices. Fish, thank you. We will deliver these crates ourselves. The crew of the merchant men will, uh, may be alarmed by our appearance, but we must make an effort to teach them that not all is hog and desire con uh, conflict and chaos. Alright. Uh, let's do... who else is left? I guess we can do the kobolds. This goes pretty fast. I, I think there's only like maybe one new one for each faction. So the, that might be the case. I am feeling pretty tired though. I don't know if I'll get to main story quests tonight. I was thinking of maybe doing a little bit, but I'm a little bit sleepy. Um, let's see, Ill of Gotten Gains, we've done Mother of All Bombs, and we've done Know Your Place. 789th Order, Despin Abozu has an uncharacteristically eager glint in his eyes. Bozu has been a sluggard, a loafer, a slacker, a sluggard, but Bozu would be a sluggard no more. No, no, no more. Uh, Giju uh, says that 639th finds shiny metals. Yes, yes, the shiniest. Could this be true? The 639th was once as shabby as us. Ratty, scruffy, shabby. If the 639th can find shinies, then why not me? Yes, yes, why not me? Bozu can strike it rich too. But I wouldn't know for certain, for true, for sure, for certain. You will go to the dig, yes, and bring back proof of the 639's accomplishments for Bozu. Yes, yes, this m you must do. I would know for certain, for true, for sure, for certain. You will go to the dig, yes, and bring back proof of the 639's accomplishments for Bozu. Yes, uh, yes, this you must do. Alright. We have to go see what actually moving and doing anything will accomplish. We need to confirm that doing such things will actually <laughs> yield something. What's this? Effort generates things? Unbelievable. You must bring me proof. It was over this way. What was the... There's 
You're seeing a castle or something in the distance. It's when, when the, the yellow filter is on, you can see it a lot more clearly. I don't know what that is. Unless, oh, wait a second, is that... Oh, I think that's Wanderer's Palace. I think, oh, I think, yeah, this overlooks like Camp Bronze Lake, I think. Interesting. Alright. Six hundred and thirty ninth order pot. Oh, wait, search it for high grade electrum ore. I guess we just go sneaking through the pots, huh? Is some guard gonna get notified in the, on the last one? No, oh, I guess not. But that's a really, really straightforward one. I was considering going to that fate, but it looks like it's getting completed quite quickly. Although... And we're probably not going to make it in time. I guess we can... Mythical spirit said to conjure storms, it does not change the fat. Apparently it's just some spirit that conjures terrible storms from what I'm able to see. It just kind of looked like an interesting spot on the map. Where is this? There's like a bunch of plasmoids here. This is, looks kind of similar to that one place uh, in Corthus where there is like a tree or something. Where there are a bunch of spirits. Like hovering around it. I don't know if that's for a quest or something. Anyways, we'll go turn this in now. Uh, and then who's left? Just Amal Jaw, I think. And then I could also check the Exali. I guess we could maybe. I think if we do the Exali quest today, we'll rank up or like go to the next reputation tier. So I guess we could do that. Because I don't really know what that process looks like. I don't know if they'd like build another part of the, the warship or so, or it's not a warship, but like the airship, rather. Uh, Adventure brings back shinies, yes, from 639th to Bozu. High grade electrum ore, a piece of electrum ore with no visible trace of impurities. See how it sparkles, shines, glimmers, sparkles. The 639th has dug up a fortune. Yes, yes, they strike true. Truly, they will not miss a shiny. No, no, not a shiny or two. Thank you, yes, thank you, adventurer, for today. Wealth has also come to Bozu. Alright. Uh, last one would be... Ammo Jaw Friendos. Do, 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 do. I think it's a little faster to go this way. Oh. Yeah, through here. It's a bit faster than running all the way around. the ravagers we've done we've done fighting fire sand with fire so it's a sm smothering instinct is the only one it's interesting how all of them only have one if you have god wishes your aid in removing a blight from the land uh, tell me honored ally have you seen the 
ominous beacons of the Zealots uh, of Zaharak light across the land. These unnatural flames are talismans of foul sorcery that amplify the blessings of the Lord of the Inferno. Uh, these symbols of servitude, of groveling weakness, uh, cannot be allowed to taint the sacred domain of Zaharak a moment longer. Uh, if you truly wish to stand with us against our honorless kin, then I would ask your aid in extinguishing the beacons. Take with you this ash. It has been ritually prepared to fully smother the noxious fires of our, fo uh, of our foe. Be warned, however, that the beacons will not be unguarded. Our weakling brethren may be loath to surrender even as a sliver of their undeserved might. Take the smothering ash and extinguish these beacons of unseemly servitude. Okay. So, I guess those are those giant torches or whatever that I thought had no purpose before. So I guess they, they do actually have a purpose there for these quests. I always thought it was kind of weird that there were just giant torches out in the desert that had no attacks and you could just break them for no reason. Seemed very strange to me. Apparently that guy's not very happy with me. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. No, it's these. Smothering ash. Uh, a sack of ash that has been ritually prepared for extinguishing flames of mystic origin. Okay, these are not the beacons I thought they were. So I guess actually there are still technically some, uh, there are some giant torches in the desert that still have no purpose actually. At least not that I know of yet. Maybe they're used for another quest. Nothing too crazy though. Oh no, it's a bronze tortoise. Look out, they're multiplying at an unnatural pace. Yeah, these things, flaming beacons. That's what I thought they were talking about. But I guess not. There's just these giant flaming towers that seemingly have no, no purpose. You can just smash them if you feel like it. I guess we got kind of lucky in finding these. They're all like right next to each other. And also, like, there was no, there were no guards around, so he could just do them really, really fast. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll go visit the Exali, the Exali Bros, and see what they want to do. Uh, and then I don't know. We got through these like really fast because I'm just doing the new ones. So maybe we could do like a little bit of the main story quest. I'm not in like as I'm not in a, like a terrible mood today. <laughs> Uh, so I could probably enjoy it a bit. Let's see here. Uh, the land itself breathes easier in the absence of those foul flames. You continue to show yourself a worthy ally of the Brotherhood. Our despicable kin, however, will not long uh, countenance the loss of their magnified blessings. Uh, all too soon, new beacons will be lit and we shall be glad of your aid once more. Alright. So that's that one done, uh, and then let's go to Flogward Float, we'll go visit our Exali, the Exali dudes. Oh, hey, what's up, Kazuda? Pocket sand, was it used to extinguish the objective? Yeah, basically. Dale has been supplying the Emerald Jaw with an adequate supply of pocket sand. 
to extinguish the beacons. Although it was kind of weird because the beacons that we were extinguishing didn't look like they had any fire on them to begin with. So, I don't know. <laughs> Seems a little bit strange. Alright, so... Let's see. Yeah, so these are all the same. Because the Exali apparently only have... Or rather, the Ixil, they only have four. Uh, so the only one... I wanted to check was just this one for the follow-up text to see if there's anything interesting. The ramblings of the chatterbox you must endure. If a Yazel, you wish to prove yourself able. Which one is this for? Trust but verify it. Oh yeah, that I, I, that is kind of funny actually, because we I've talked to her a few times. The chatterbox, like she has the longest dialogue, literally I think out of any NPC so far in the game. She talks so freaking much, it's ridiculous. But yeah, okay, so these ones we've already done. Uh, so I think today we can see what it looks like to rank up to like a higher. Um, higher reputation tier. Because these should not be, these aren't too difficult, right? Like, you just go, keeping up appearances, you do. You just open some boxes or something. Then you gotta go run down to the guy and say, with the wind, make sure you capitalize the W's <laughs> for some reason. And then you gotta do the weird, with a weird crafting system, which still boggles my mind completely. I have no idea why it's so convoluted, but it is what it is. Can't just do this one nice and quick here. With that cacophony of squawking, the enemy appears. Friend of Ikadal, you die. No, you die. No, you. Okay, so we got that. Run down this way. Oh yeah, we gotta go to Tree Speak Stables too. It's such a, this is such a weird system. <laughs> they have like a different crafting stations and gloves that you gotta equip. Okay. Uh, with the wind. Alright. Squonk, squonk, deliver the materials and stuff. Yes. So I guess... In the future, once we've seen all the, the base quests, I'll just start doing the ones that we've done here already. I'll do these off stream. And then maybe we can start the stream with any new quests that have popped up. And just do them really quick. All right. No mond. Uh, okay, keeping up appearances. Okay, we hand this over. You have access to the crafting facility. I'm just gonna go carpenter. I don't even think the amount of XP you get for this is like very high at all. Uh, starboard hull component. I don't even. We gotta search through like the 80 different things of the same version. Oh yeah, don't forget you gotta equip the weird ass gloves. <laughs> system is so weird. Where is it? Here, equip these. There you go. And now you must complete this very satisfying and very challenging level one crafting thing that gets completed in just one step. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, we'll do this one. What is it for? Land board. Or oh, wait a second, is it? Or oh, larboard. Larboard hull component. I think the most expensive part about crafting these is that it takes crystals. <laughs> 
or shards rather, but it doesn't really take that many, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Alright, those ones are done. We gotta go skip through the dialogue of the old lady. The old lady is only a really big time loss if you actually read all of her dialogue out loud. Then it actually takes like <laughs> three minutes to go through everything that she says. But if you just text skip, I guess it's not that bad. Oh, actually, I think she's gonna make us go. She makes us go do the Oppo Oppos, right? She makes us go beat up the lemurs before we can use the crafting station. Do 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 do. Oh my, you wish to use these facilities? They are lovely, aren't they? Know you have the Opo Opos. <laughs> yes, okay, we had to... I guess the actual, the better pathing route would have been to come up here first and then go down to the Opo Opos. Would have been, like, slightly faster. So I wouldn't have to backtrack here, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll be doing these quite a bit over the course of however many weeks it takes to rank up, so <laughs> I'll be able to do that. Oppo, Oppo. Oh, whoops. The Oppo Oppo sprays saliva in your general direction. This is actually like the king of Opo Opos though. It's level 41 compared to all these level 5s. <laughs> this is actually like their leader. Now they have no leader anymore. Which is probably why they go on those big Opo Opo raids through the town. The Opo Opos actually seem like more of a menace than the, the Ixel do. They actually like raided the camps regularly. <laughs> Opo Opos are actually secretly the the most menacing beast tribe in the game. Here you go. Here's a simian claw and also the spare components. Alright, now we gotta do this, and we gotta do this, and we gotta put the gloves on again, and we gotta equip that, and we do this, and then we need to do a bladder component, but don't forget that there's like 80,000 versions of it, so make sure that you pick the right one, and then you do this, and you saw the saw, and then you're done, and then there you go, you're done. Alright. <laughs> Weird system. Anyways, I guess we get to see what happens when you faction rank up now, because I think that should be enough. We'll see if we get some sort of like a little cutscene or something. Uh, trust but verify. Oh yeah, right, and then they also, they automatically put you into your key items window, but it's not in the key items window. Just to trick you even further. Okay. Wait, warning, you will not be able to receive all the following. Reputation. Do you still wish to proceed? Really? Okay, well, yes. Your reputation is already at maximum. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're supposed to... I see. You have to do a quest, I guess, to get... To, like, actually unlock... More rep spot. Okay. Interesting. 
Uh, okay, a designer job. Sizzle appears concerned for the well-being of one of his crew. Okay. Squawk, Kaya, task for you, Sizzle has. In Sizzle's crew, mechanical engineer by name of Bozel Edwin, there is. Left camp to acquire component materials for engine, Bozel did, but return he does not. Without vital part for propulsion system, continue with construction we cannot, Squawk. Have Kai search for a missing Bozel and drag him back here, Sizzle would. Hmm, went somewhere to the south, engineer did. Yes, somewhere south. Rare among Excel Bozel is very good with machines, solely responsible for engine design and development. Missing engineer is even more important than engine component, Sezzo thinks. Even with needed part, install engine into vessel we cannot. Attempted to add such propulsion system to a balloon that no one ever has. So what does Tadamaru, or, uh, Tadaramu have to say? Oh yeah, okay, he has no- that's, we've read that before. Alright, so we gotta go find this bird engineer and bring him back. Because he wandered off into the woods somewhere. So are we gonna like find him dying and he's gonna be like, you must go craft the component without me or something? Because it said it was like a, a crafting involved quest, so I don't know. Oh, he's over here. Oh, he looks to be okay. Bozel Edwin the Exact. He's this. What is he doing? He's squatting down. Squawk, Bozel's arm. Squawk, stay back. Hmm? Come at Chief Total Lock's orders you have. No, no. Away with you. Be caught by others, featherless one will. Caw, caw, caw. You try to flutter free, do you? Hard to fly on broken wing. Yes, finished our game with you. We have not. Enough fun you have had. Miss your fawning presence, your goddess will. Squawk, such insul insolent screeching. Make self target for torment, you do. Enough pointless resistance. Time to rejoin flock and devote yourself to divine Garuda, it is. Squawk, where did you come from, no feathers? This one's pet, are you? Cease your glaring or snap your arm too, Chieftain Will. Go, return to sniveling Cecil and give him message, you shall. Cease this skulking about in the forest, he must, or find himself and crew buried beneath boughs, he will. Answer to God is all Ixil do, divine Garuda, terrible and beautiful Garuda. Wait, they actually just left? <laughs> I, th I thought we were going to have to kick their ass, but apparently not. <laughs> Pant, pant, glad that they, tr uh, tired, uh, tired of their sport I am. Base of the logging grounds, the chieftain is, uh, taken actions of a cattle nine as personal insults he has. Uh, Bozel's arm, useless it is. Ruined Bozel for his craft they have. Oh no. Wish to rely on featherless one, but Bozel does not. But take these materials you must. Necessary for crafting high quality engine component they are. Squawk. Without component, cerulean propulsion engine it remains incomplete, and without propulsion system, no better than fancy balloon vessel will be. Artisan you are, yes, leave this task in your hands, Bozel Shell. Uh, at a place your your people called Tree Speak Stables, find a well equipped workshop you will. Unlike Bozel, need for sneaking in and using at night you have not. Squawk, burn like fire Bozel's arm does. Uh, go, featherless one must do what Bozel cannot. Squawk, burn like fire, Bozel's arm does. Featherless one must do what Bozel cannot. No, no. Well, he should. Hopefully, he goes back to the camp, because even if he can't craft things directly, he still like knows how to install them, so his knowledge is kind of important. I find it kind of weird that those other Ixel like, just left us alone, though. They're just like, oh yeah, well, we're really cool, and we're gonna go pray to Garuda now, so see you later, bye. <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't even know why our character would let them get away. That seems kind of stupid. Anyways. 
Greetings, the crafting facility here is available for you for crafting. Propulsant engine component materials. Materials required to craft components for the Dizzle Quillan Domain Cerulean Propulsion Engine. Uh, okay. And all that text is the same, so we will go ahead and do this. Oh wait, no, it's it's propulsion engine. Okay, it's this propulsion engine. I thought they said pr uh, cerulean. I thought they mentioned it. Oh, don't forget your gloves. You gotta, you gotta do the gloves. Okay. I don't know why you need to do the gloves, but you do. <laughs> and there we have it. All right. And now I guess we just run back. I don't know if it would be faster to teleport. I don't think it would be. Actually, I wonder... I don't know if Bozel will still be there. Bozel. It's Bozo. Bozo bird. Uh, does he say anything new, I guess? I'm just curious. I guess not. Feels bad, man. I'm sure he'll be fine. They'll, they'll fix his arm. He's just gotta give it some rest. Oh, wait, why is this locked? Wait, synthesize a propulsion engine component. Wait, did I... Did I not? Propulsion engine component. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a... They literally trick you. It's... You have to synthesize a high-quality one. It has the high-quality symbol next to it. Of course you do. Yes. <laughs> because... Every other component that you can craft literally cannot be high quality. So of course it only makes complete logical sense that for this one it it must be high quality. Even though the others physically cannot be high quality. <laughs> oh, this system. This system is something else. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyways, that's fine. We'll, we'll craft another one. We still got two minutes left. Oh, but we gotta, I think we gotta talk to this guy. Uh, propulsion engine component. Okay. There we go, okay, now it's high quality. Now we go back. That's so weird. Now we just have this useless propulsion engine component. Yes, we must discard this. Have use, it does not. Speak like Ixel, we shall. The Yoda birds. I guess we'll have to watch out for that sneaky high quality icon from now on, because I didn't realize that was a thing. Anyways. Uh, Squawk, word for Caius as it was, returned and explained all Bozel did. Uh, did. Uh, snapping of bones, nasty chieftain's threats, prevent Kai from crafting component Cezil feared he would. Propulsion engine component, a component to be used in the finishing of the Dizzle Quan's main cerulean propulsion engine. Very good, very good. Oak hi two beakfuls of gratitude Sizzle does. First for finding Bozel and second for crafting engine component. Being tended for injury Bozel is short-sighted thugs. 
They can pray all day to Goddess about grow back of flying feathers, it will not. Uh, yet air in abundance they have, right there between their own ears, squawk. Uh, this Goddess, you speak of wor uh, worshipping the primal Garuda, yes? Worship, yes. No means of mechanical propulsion uh, have balloons. Slaves to whims of wind they are. To control direction of their vessels, make use of enchanted ear stones they do. Infused with the blessings of Garuda, these artifacts are. Stone creates wind, wind moves balloon. Simple concept, but efficient and effective it is not. And always costly gifts of goddess are. Squawk, feathered demon, promise Ixil much goddess does, but work only to satisfy Gar Garuda's cruel desires, says those people do. Uh, answer, uh, answer their fervent prayers, goddess never will. That is why Cattle Nine broke ties with Garuda. Rely on own skill and perseverance we shall. Prefer to adopt Featherless One's technology we do. That explains the hostile attitude of the Logging uh, Grand's chieftain. He sees the Cattle Nine as heretics and betrayers of their own kind. Yes, think of the worst, ki uh, worst kind of Ixil they do. Ka ka ka. But also intend to lie at feet of uh, Ta. Uh, Tataramu's chieftains we do not. Fly we shall. Fly beyond the clouds. Yet it take much more time now it will. Wait until Bo uh, Bozil's arm is healed we must. Draft a technical designs for Dizil Kwan and no one else can. Cezil, if you need someone to draft airships designs then I'm your Lalafell. Training you say you have, but want of patience, hmm? Of dedication. Regret making offer lightly you will. I am serious as I have ever been. In fact, I have already started drafting improvements to your engine assembly. By incorporating my ideas, I believe you can reduce the weight of the propulsion system by 20% while still retaining its current power output. Toy with our dream, you must not. Should Tataramu's uh, designs be flawed, your skin for covering vessel's wings says it will. Hmm, Tataramu draws designs and Kai crafts components. Very odd indeed, Cecil's crew has become. Squawk, so be it. Now official members of a cattle line you are. Continue reaching for sky, we shall. Alright. We're, we're officially part of the crew, I guess. Reputation up. You have achieved recognized reputation with the Cattle Nine. New Ixil Beast Tribe daily quests are now available from uh, Mithuli uh, Catline at the Hard, uh, the Hard Atty Cattle. Okay. Oh, we do get a level cutscene. Thanks to your diligent efforts, construction of the Dizzle Quan's tail assembly has begun. Continue assisting the cattle line to see the airship hybrid reach completion. Okay. Honestly, I don't know what they added. It looks it looked like I don't even think they added anything to the actual to the actual ship. It looked like they just like added these extra platforms. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, maybe this wasn't here before, I'm not sure. It'd be kind of funny if they just added some extra scaffolding, though. They didn't actually, like, change anything else. Alright, so I'm guessing... Actually, I don't know, we might be able to access those quests today, I'm not sure. Or no, wait a second, oh. Mithili, uh, Catlan the Hard. Oh, okay, interesting. So, I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is, like... Is she our new quest giver now, or will they both have quests available? I'm not sure if he'll have quests again tomorrow, because if he does, that would be interesting, because he'd be able to... Assuming that all of the Beast Tribes follow this kind of framework, you would be able to like power through one of them really fast if that were the case. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we might not make it to main story. Like if I do these, I don't think we'll make it to main story tonight. I didn't realize we were going to get more quests here to do right away.
I do kind of want to do these though since they're available. Uh, so yeah, maybe we will do these. Uh, let me just write these down. What evil lurks in the hearts of golems? One excels buzzard. You write tool for the tools. Okay. Uh, okay. What evil lurks in the heart of golems? An unforeseen delay has given uh, Methuli Catlin the hard cause for concern. Um, oh wait, that's their name, the hard. I thought it was like the hard cause for concern. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I wasn't sure what they meant. Um, urgent need of high quality deck component we have. Okay, they even mention high quality here in the in the description, so I need to remember to do that. Uh, no feathers can craft, Mithuli knows. Quality oakum for caulking deck seems prepared with special materials, stolen materials. Actually, stolen, not the most appropriate word. Shale golem and alder springs made angry by a death of clay golem took them, uh, Mithuli is told. As trophy, who knows? Fathom workings of golem mines, Mithuli does not. Sure to summon shale golem once more, death of clay golems is. Yet wear him you must. Uh, dangerous if not weakened the shale golem is. Doused with dissolving agent, he has nothing to fear. Recover materials, I ask, then take to Falgor flow for crafting. Okay, it sounds then, yeah, slay clay golems, and then you, when the shale golem comes up, you hit him with the, the thingo. What is this, anyways? Dissolving agent, an alchemic solution of extremely high acidity capable of liquefying the thick protective stone shells of a golem. Craft high quality deck component you cannot until materials are reclaimed. Slay clay golem, then shale golem you must. Okay. One Ixel's buzzard. Mithili Catlin is bristling with anger. Be gone, no feathers. Driven mad by incompetent carrier Mithuli is squawk. Wait, solution to problem, no feathers could be. Skilled with hands and swift with legs, no, no feathers is. Craft high quality a leather bound frame for engine casing, Mithuli would ask. But yet to arrive, materials have. Lost in woods care is near Spriggan Dig, most like. Many times before this has happened to Buzzard. High as honor uh, to him you must first say. Know him as friend only then he will. Okay. Lost near Spriggan Den, all too often incompetent Buzzard becomes. Near there, begin your search. Tell him high as honor, prove yourself friend. The right tool for the tools. There is work to be done, and Mithuli Catlin thinks that you suited to the task. Squawk, denied, Mithuli will not be. Crafting of two crafting crafting of two crafting tool components, high quality crafting tool components for a cattle nine at this task no, uh, no feathers must do. Wrapped handles for handling Mithuli requests, crafted with the aid of Falgord Floats facilities. Brought and paid for the materials have been. In care of Adamar they are. To him you must go. Go now. Go now. <laughs> you go now. Busy, busy, ever so busy. Too busy with crafting, you cattle crafters are. Time for replacing tools we have not. From Adamar, retrieve materials and craft two high quality crafting tool components in Falgord Float. Alright. Also, I'm curious, is this... So this is just a deliverance quest. Moonstone. Oh, let me look this up. Moonstone... I'm just curious what this even is. Like, where do you, where do you get this exactly? Wait, it costs... Oh, wait. Acquisition. It says it costs 4,000 company seals. And that you can also... Interesting. Okay. I think it's just... I think you just buy it. Huh. 
I mean, we could do this. It's not really like a big deal or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I guess if we want to, we can go like pick one of those up. It's not really a big deal. Although I, it seems like it's always available, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to spend company seals on it. I kind of want to see if, like, what happens with the quest tomorrow, then I might... We may or may not do that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think you just, you just buy it from the grain companies, basically. Uh, so where are we going? This guy is the right tools for the tools. The right tool for the tools. Oh, well, there's there's also... What well, evil lurks in the hearts of Golem. Oh, that's here as well, okay. Let's do the one where we talk to this guy first, because I'm not sure where this guy is. Where does he... Oh, is he up top? I think he's up top. Crap. Uh, oh wait, is he? Oh, he's up here. Oh, it's this guy. I think we've talked to this guy before, actually. Uh, come to fetch the materials on behalf of the Birdman, are you? Color me surprised that respectful folk like yourself uh, are keeping company with that lot. But I ain't one to judge, no sir. Give uh, Methuli my regards. Uh, we've more than enough to go around, you know? Why let it go to waste when there's guild to be made? Alright. So we have... The components of a god. Well, we have our one HP left, I guess. <laughs> I guess let's see if we can find a good pack of golems while we wait for our HP to recharge. Although I don't think we really need that much HP for these mobs. They're not they're not particularly threatening. Okay, it looks like well we can get these two at least. Oh wait, your quarry approaches. There it is. Oh wait, there's two of them. I didn't realize it. <laughs> it would summon them one to one. And they interrupt you also. Oh, am I gonna get slapped by this? Oh my god, they actually do a lot of damage. <laughs> Why are these things so beefy? Oh, I think actually it's because the other one wasn't weakened. So it does like max damage. Okay, I had to like run away from this one. It's too powerful. <laughs> we can't we can't actually take it on. Uh also Oh wait, what is this? What's the Opa Opos are invading again. Oh, we, we gotta go down here. To this friggin' dig site. It's in like another zone. <laughs> okay. That's a long walk. Although, I guess once we talk to him, we can teleport to Fallgord Float, so that's not. It's not too bad. Man, this, this log here always reminds me of that picture. In the, the Bob and Cork. I think this is the same log that's in that picture. I don't know if it has any sort of significance. Yeah, 
the Kettle Nine Carrier. Uh, with you away, a powerful magic I wield. Prepared to uh, to defend myself, I am. All right. And so all we have to do is high, high as honor. A friend of Mithila's, you are squawk. Pursued by bloodthirsty whalers, I was, but now saved from certain death. Hey, no feathers and crafter both. Then these materials you take make high quality engine case and component for Mithuli. With permission uh, of Hildyard facilities in Falgard, you can use. To Falgard, you go and take materials. Thankless job carrier is so much anger and uh, vitriol, if ever any delay. Pluck this, uh, this buzzard that. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay, so I think we're, I think everything we need to craft is just in Fallward, so I guess we just go there now and craft a bunch of stuff. That's pretty streamlined at least. Oh, it's up this way. So I guess we may as well put the gloves on now. So we don't forget. Uh, hello again, adventurer. Come to avail yourself of our fine facility, I take it. Let's have a look at the materials you brought. Deck component materials. Materials required to craft components for an airship's main decks. Oh, we had another curious collection of odds and ends and a goodly amount besides. So that they don't uh, get in your way while you work, I'll hold on to any excess materials until you need them. The crafting space is ready for your use. You may begin whenever you like. Okay. And this is materials required to craft, or wait, crafting tool component materials. Materials required to craft components of tools <laughs> required, but well, this is so cr Materials required to craft components of tools required to craft components of other items, such as tools required to craft components of tools. <laughs> okay, that one's kind of, kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Engine case and component materials. Materials required to craft components which will compose the protective outer covering of an airship's main propulsion engine. I, I really like that one. That like that made it all worthwhile. Uh, okay, so we need crafting crafting tool components. Alright. But they, they have to be high quality also, so don't forget that. Uh, okay. I mean, not that it really... It just want an extra button press, basically. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, propulsion engine component. Oh, here, okay. And we needed that component. Okay. Finish crafting heavy. Well, don't keep the client waiting. Run along and deliver your handiwork. Now, I doubt uh, you'd be so clumsy as to misplace your precious creations, but on the off chance that you do, know that I still have the expense materials in my keeping. Okay. I guess he just says the same thing for all of those. So we'll go turn these in, and then, I don't know, I might be done for the night, unfortunately. I thought I could probably go ahead and maybe do some main story, but it is kind of late, so I wouldn't mind getting some sleep. But the good news is, there's a lot less stressful crap going on with work, so 
I should be like probably able to stream a little bit more tomorrow, maybe. Unless I feel like I need a break, I'm not sure. One thing I might also do tomorrow, I don't know, like I might make panels or something, just like links to Twitter or like make a Discord channel or something, just so that I can like post updates. I don't know. Uh, anyways, what evil lurks in the hearts of golems? Uh, that component you have for me. Uh, oh, wait. Deck component. Uh, a component to be used in the creating of digital clone domain decks. Alright. Uh, done well, No Feathers has. Much impressed, Mithuli is by No Feathers' crafting and combat skills. A well rounded individual, Mithuli also aspires to be. Uh, when inscrutable golems will try to steal your materials, no one knows. A worthless buzzard you found, then engine casing component you crafted. Engine casing component, a component to be used in the creating of the Dizzle Quan's engine casing. No feathers is a king among kind, the Mithuli say. Splendid work which will satisfy our needs, this is. Trade a ten worthless buzzards for one featherless nuker, uh, Mithuli would, with no feathers help, soar higher than Garuda ever will a cattle mine shell. Without tools for the task, the crafting cannot continue. High quality components for the tools, no feathers must quickly bring. Uh, crafting tool component, a c component to be used in the creating... Wait a second. A component to be used in creating the crafting tools which will build the Dizzle Clone. Okay, they didn't... They lost the joke on this one. I liked the one when it was actually the... Like, the material... The crafting tool materials, because they actually, like, purposefully said it, like, three or four times. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Uh, ever reliable, I say ever reliable, no feathers is. In these components, much faith will, uh, will be placed, yet a disappointed not once Mithuli has been. Reason to doubt, Mithuli has none. Right to trust in you, Chief Totalok was. Above buzzers, the cattle line will soon soar. Alright, there we go. And that's our, our beast tribe quests for the day. Um... Wait, what is supplies for the sick? Carpenter's Guild. I don't know what that is. It's, why is this up here next to main story or main storyo main scenario quest? <laughs> that seems kind of weird. Is that like an unlock quest of some kind? I kind of want to see. I don't know. Like, is that unless that's like a. Um, Unless it's like a carpenter class quest. Oh yeah, it's locked now. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess it was a carpenter class unlock quest. Okay. Cool, anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna opt to go to sleep. I could push it, but I feel like I've been pushing it too much lately. Like, if this is more of a marathon than a sprint, really. In, like, all aspects, like... <laughs> in my life and time management and everything. I think too, like, I don't know, I was thinking a little bit more about what I was going over yesterday and I don't know if like subconsciously a part of me is like worried about coming to the end of the content. Like I know there's still a crap ton to go through probably, but I guess a part of me like doesn't really want to get done with all the content as well. Um, and like, my inherent playstyle is to try and do as much as I can every single day and like get through it all. But I think a part of me is actually has been wondering about like, what am I even going to like stream when I'm done with all the story content? <laughs> I think I don't know. That's not something I've really been consciously thinking about. But I was wondering if like subconsciously maybe that was something that was like contributing to everything that was going on. Anyways. So yeah, it ended up just being beast quests. Um, I know those are not the most interesting, but they are what they are. 
Uh, although I usually, I kind of like them. Some of them are funny. I thought that the tool component description for that one item, I liked that one description. I feel like that made reading the descriptions of all the items and stuff like worthwhile. <laughs> I think like basically anyone else probably would have missed it. I almost want to get a version of that item to like keep with me so that maybe I can like link it in chat or something. Because <laughs> it seemed kind of funny. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I think there is like some other aspects of uh, the whole scenario I was going to go over. But I think, I don't know, like today I felt bad. I'd, like I didn't want to not stream. Um, it kind of felt like I was like letting down whoever was going to be showing up to the streams. Because it's like, as much as this was part of like what I do, as part of my routine, I guess for some people as well, it's like part of their routine too. As weird as it is, like I find it, I still find it hard to fathom that anyone like regularly watches this, but I think for some people they do watch it regularly, so I also felt kind of bad about not, uh, not streaming it. Like I felt like I was letting people down by not doing it. So I think if I am going to take time off, I'm probably going to like, I'll make some panels or something and link out to like other social media platforms so I can like just post like a I'm taking a break today, no stream or something type message. Um, either on like Twitter or like Discord or something like that. Um, and yeah, I think that way I would probably f at least feel a little bit better about taking time off. Because at least then people would like have a heads up and they wouldn't be sitting there like waiting and like guessing like is there going to be a stream or is there not going to be a stream. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll try and keep time slots as well. Um, I still don't know if like an evening time slot is what I'll, I'll stick with. Maybe that will shift around. But again, I guess like social media would be a place I could like post updates to that as well. So yeah, I don't know. When, like when I got into this to start, I didn't really think it was going to be like too serious or anything. So I didn't really like make social medias for anything, but I guess, uh, I guess they'd be kind of useful at this point, so I'll probably go ahead and do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think then, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else I can really cover, so... I guess we'll go ahead and log out. Jump into the comfy feather bed. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. All things considered, I should probably be back tomorrow, I think. I think so. <laughs> no guarantees, but probably. The thing is, I probably won't have the panels up by tomorrow. So, so like, if I don't have them up, then it's almost guaranteed because I'll feel too guilty <laughs> to, like, not stream. Um, but yeah, I'll... Um, I'll see what I can do about making those really quick and getting them posted. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, probably more likely than not, we should be able to just go back to the main story quest, I think. Assuming I'm feeling good. Because <laughs> again, I don't want to be in like kind of like a, I'm not going to like assess my mood too much. Like, if I was in like, a, if I'm in the same mood that I was in tonight, which is just kind of like a, a mediocre, decent mood, then yeah, we can do more main story quest. I just want to make sure I'm not in a mood like I was in yesterday, where it was just like really negative, because <laughs> that would just basically ruin it. So, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, short stream tonight. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for anyone that was lurking. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time when I'm live. Uh, but yeah, until then, have a great night. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.